Hello, I'm going to walk you through the simple payroll process in Payentry NextGen. From the company dashboard that you see here, we're going to go ahead and start payroll. Select the Start Payroll button. You're going to go ahead and make sure this is the correct check date, June 8, 2018, and select Start Payroll at the bottom of the screen. This is going to bring you to your payroll batches screen. From here, on the right-hand side, you'll see the estimated total payroll cost for the payroll. From here, you'll also see your batch and the summary information shown here. You can update your time import by using the icon at the top of the screen for your time import. You can import your time using pay entry time management. You can also select a file if you have one on your computer. I'm going to import a file here. I'm going to select Import File. It's successfully imported. I'm going to navigate back to the Batches screen. I have a note that I need to update um, eight hours for Edna. That's for sick time. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the right-hand side of the screen and enter Payroll Wages. This is going to bring me to the Enter Payroll Wages screen. You'll see a number of columns listed here. Employee, Employee ID, Home Department, Auto Pay, Base Rate, Total Hours, Gross Pay, and Net Pay. I need to enter Edna's eight hours of sick time. I'm going to select the Edit button next to her employee name. I'm going to navigate and find my earnings for sick. I'm going to add eight hours. I'm going to navigate and tab through and calculate the check below with the calculator button shown on the bottom of the right-hand screen. You'll see this has updated her pay information. I'm going to save and close her information. I'm going to navigate to Paul Lawman. I'm going to also edit his information. I need to give him an additional 12 hours of regular time as well as holiday pay. Eight hours of holiday pay. And I'm going to use a job code for stocking. I'm going to calculate using the calculator below. I have updated his time here. I'm going to save and close. I finished my payroll. I am going to run the pre-process register found on the bottom of the page here. Select Run Preprocess Register. I'm going to select the options that I would like to see, and I'm going to run the report. This shows me my payroll register and the totals. I'm going to navigate to the last page to see the summary to make sure my totals match. All the information is correct. Now I'm going to verify my totals and close the batch by selecting the bottom right-hand corner Totals Verify button. You must do this to process the payroll. You'll see the register has been verified. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Submit button on the right-hand corner of the screen to submit my payroll. I selected the Submit Payroll button. Are you sure you want to submit this payroll for processing? Is it accurate? And also here again is the estimated payroll cost. You want to be sure and run your payroll summary report to ensure the actual transfers are in fact correct. This does not include any uh, payroll fees. I'm going to submit the payroll. As you can see on the company dashboard, my payroll has been submitted. This concludes the short, simple payroll processing. Thank you.